You see, back in high school, I was never a fan of writing, especially when it came to literature reviews, which, to be totally honest with you, I totally despised. Looking back, I realized it was mainly due to a lack of understanding. Instead of following, say, a structured approach, I often found myself guessing and crossing my fingers for a decent grade. A literature review usually compares at least two variables, X and Y, explaining how they relate to each other. Let's say, for example, you'd like to see how stress relates to academic performance. The literature review will examine other research done on the relationship between stress and academic performance and explain how your research will improve or add to the existing knowledge in this area. Start by brainstorming key terms and forming a research question. Ideally, explore a topic that hasn't been extensively researched. However, if your question has been addressed numerous times, that's okay as long as it aligns with your interest. Before choosing a topic, just ask yourself, what do you want to achieve from this research? Are you aiming for something new or fresh? Or is your goal simply to just pass the class because <laughs> that's okay? After determining your research question, focus on gathering literature. For robust academic claims, rely on official sources like government documents, reputable statistics, white papers, and gray literature. Academic sources such as books, conference proceedings, and peer-reviewed or non-peer-reviewed journals are also valuable. When reviewing research papers, read the abstract to decide if reading the whole thing would be beneficial or a total waste of time. Take notes on key ideas and points from your literature or your sources and identify gaps in the research. Consider how your research can address these gaps. The literature review involves summarizing what we know about the relationship between the variables X and Y. It means explaining how X is already connected to Y and pointing out where there are gaps in what we know. And when I talk about gaps, I mean finding places where the existing research doesn't cover everything or hasn't explored things well enough or simply hasn't answered a certain question. Recognizing and dealing with these gaps is important because it helps us to add new and useful insights to the field. When you write your literature review, start with general information, then get more specific. You can do this in different ways. Talk about how things have changed or progressed over time in the field, and then explain how your research fits into that. Another way is to discuss recurring themes in different sources and explain how your topic connects to these themes. In both cases, you just want to make sure you say how your research adds to what we already know. Now it's time to write your first draft. Begin with an introduction that provides background information on your topic. Similar to a regular essay, state your thesis and start discussing the key points you find important from the literature you've selected. Don't worry about perfection just jot your ideas on paper. After your first draft, improve your literature review by removing unnecessary words and weak points. You want to keep it clear and focused. You see, writing literature reviews ultimately boils down to having a clear research question, sharing existing knowledge, and explaining how your research contributes to that knowledge. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And if you'd rather not write it yourself, check the description box for details on how Young Genius can help you.